In this video I'm gonna explain what benefits you can gain from upgrading ROM or a hard drive to an SSD and if you have a limited budget what should you choose between them. There are lots of cheap laptops on the market like these which have 4 gigs of RAM and half terabyte hard drive. And usually nobody wants to put a lot of money into upgrading it. So here we have brand new SSD Kingston to 40 gigs which costs 29 bucks and Samsung 8 gigs DDR4 module for 60 bucks. What would you choose? What if you're just a regular user and you use your computer mainly for web browsing, office tasks and you made the decision to upgrade your RAM? It's a pretty simple task and anyone can do it. When you turn on your PC, you'll be very disappointed because Windows still boots slowly and all applications start with the same speed. But once your system and applications are up and running, you will notice significant improvement in multitasking and how much faster you can switch between different windows, applications or tabs in your browser. So, if you decided to upgrade your laptop's hard drive to an SSD, which is also a very simple task that anyone with a screwdriver and a little patience can easily complete in 10 minutes. Next you have to install Windows on a new drive, or clone the entire hard drive onto the SSD, it's up to you. The difference in performance is so obvious, Windows 10 boots in 8 seconds and all applications start almost instantly. In general your system will become more responsive and productive. Of course 4 gigs of RAM is not enough, especially for Windows 10, so we can make a little trick and add 4 gigs of virtual RAM. So, once the page file or virtual memory is on the SSD, the access to the file is fast enough to compensate for lack of physical RAM. At the same time, if you have enough RAM, like 16GB or more, I'd recommend to disable the page file or set it to the minimum possible value, otherwise it's just a waste of SSD space. Finally restart your computer for the changes to take effect. I also want to point out that if you don't meet the minimum RAM requirements for some applications or games, the virtual memory is not gonna help you.